Hi everyone, Karen Katz here from iCamperiod.com. Super thrilled to be here with part number three of this three-part training series on how healing your childhood money wounds changes your money-making abilities. So let's take a moment to recap. Part one, we went through all these associations that were created when we were super young of what we experienced around money. If it was that we saw our parents fighting over money, then we experienced a lot of lack, not having enough, a lot of fear and anxiety, worry over it. If we experienced trauma or abuse, we may have associated control, dominance, and power with money. In part two, we discussed the importance of letting go of that stuck or stale energy, forgiveness, not because of the other person, but because it is the biggest gift you can give yourself, knowing what it is keeping you from. So we dove deep into the low level energies or emotions, vibrations that these associations have created in us, the fear, the worry, the anxiety, the stress over money, and what it is keeping us from the higher level emotions, the higher level feelings and vibrations that make us an energetic match to money, where money is, the abundance, the joy, the relaxation, the satisfaction, the enjoyment. That's where manifestation happens. So that release, that forgiveness is a gift to yourself so you can release that stale energy and access these high level emotions where manifestation happens. It's just like cleaning out that drawer in the closet that nobody wants to look at because it's so full and you keep piling stuff up and nothing else fits in there. Well, it's about throwing it out clearing the space to create a new. And that's what we're diving into today. We are taking a deep breath and releasing so that we can access a space, that blank space where you get to define your relationship with money. So grab your favorite pen, favorite notebook, favorite drink, Put on some music. You're going to be able to listen to this and then mute me for a while so you can dive in and then come back to the recording because this is going to be the key part, the key part in manifesting. You get to define your relationship with money, however you want it to be now, not because of associations that you've lived in the past when you were a child or that you learned from other people. Because here's the truth. There is no one set way that money or anything else in this world works. There are people that believe that you have to work really, really hard for money and that's what they do and they make a lot of money. And there's people that believe that money is available to them always and have never worked a day in their lives and have the experience of money coming into their lives, maybe, maybe through a trust or a family business, whatever it is. You get to decide how money and everything else in your life gets to work for you. Any belief will work and you get to choose it. I invite you to take some time with me. Breathe in deep. Let everything go. And really tap into this space of appreciation that you get to choose how you want life to work for you. Money, relationships, health, enjoyment, anything and everything. You are the decider. You are the creator. And allow yourself to feel into this space. Just dive in. Let that pen take over right away in your journal. Anything that comes up, you get to define. So take a breath and let it 
guide you. Just write and write and write whatever comes up. The key here is to feel those emotions. Imagine yourself having that relationship with money. That's what's going to activate, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but that's what creates the activation. The mind might want to step in and be like, uh, no, how's that even going to happen? Or no, for now, we're just going to tell it just like we would tell a toddler very lovingly, very compassionately that's distracted into something else. It will have its space. We will give it its space for sure. But right now is not the space. Just like in any creative process, the first step is just allowing the free flow of ideas to flow through. Then we can go back and edit and review whatever we want. But the same thing applies here. Just that whatever comes from that innermost core of your being to be revealed. Those are your desires. They're to be treasured and feel them. Allow yourself to feel them deeply. There's no judging. There's no right or wrong. You do not need to come up with the strategy right now. We're just connecting with this powerful feeling, allowing your heart's desires to be revealed. What, will, what would you be doing with the money? Where would you be going? How do you want to feel around it? How do you want to feel towards it? How do you want it to feel towards you? Just allow yourself to express anything and everything that wants to come through without any need to jump into how that's going to happen for now. And just keep going until you feel that you've expressed a vision that you can tap into in your gut that really expresses the core of your desire. And whenever you read it, it inspires you to new heights. That's what we're shooting for. Now, two things are going to happen. Number one, from this moment on, you will get inspired ideas, nudges. Oh, that would be cool. Or I can do this. Or what if this? What if I called this? What if I emailed this person? What if I went here? Exactly how it happened to one of my clients when she wanted to be featured in a top magazine in Costa Rica. We were discussing it in session. And of course, the mind wanted to create this whole strategy around it. But we just flowed with it and just left it there. And after a few weeks, she came back to session and said that she was invited to participate in a fair where she had, would have her own booth and display all her bracelets and creations. She creates bracelets and necklaces and jewelry, handcrafted jewelry in Costa Rica. It's gorgeous. So it was a three-day event. On day number two, she gets approached by this man that says, oh my God, it's you. And she's looking at him like, do I know you? And he says, uh, no, we haven't met. My girlfriend has one of your bracelets. And she was telling me the story behind it. And I'm fascinated with what you do. And I'd love to feature you in our magazine. I work in such and such magazine, exactly the magazine that she wanted to be featured in. Inspired action. All she did was take the inspired action, follow her nudge to go to that event. And that's it. Everything else cooperated to create this manifestation. That's how it is. We are cooperating. We are co-creating with powerful forces. The universe has your back. It's working with you to create everything and anything you want. If you believe it. And we're going to talk about that soon too. Now, the second thing that is going to happen is that the mind will step in with skepticism, doubt, and fear, and worry. And how's that going to happen? And how are you going to do it? And when is it going to be? And how are we going to... And all these endless questions. The core of manifesting is 
And this might be a little bit tough to get at the beginning. Don't worry. It's normal. The how is not your problem. Repeating. The how is not your problem. We dive into this in detail for three whole weeks in the eight-week program, Becoming a Money-Making Badass Soul. After we clear up two very important things regarding worthiness that are at the core of manifestations being possible. Once that's cleared, for the next three weeks, we dive in day by day, 21 days with different prompts, step by step, so that you can prove to yourself, because nobody can convince you, you have to prove to yourself your manifesting abilities. You have to learn to trust your intuition, follow the nudges, and prove to yourself that what you created, what you manifested, has absolutely no logical way of happening. And once you get that proof, you know for sure at your core, the power that runs through your veins, what you are co-creating with, what you are able to create, and then manifesting just becomes a game of how much, what else can I manifest? If this is something that you feel called to prove to yourself, then I'd be honored for you to join us in this eight-week sacred journey to discover your manifesting abilities. There is nothing that thrills me more than to guide clients to connect with their manifestation power. It is freaking life-changing. I will share the link in the comments below. There are bonuses available for a limited time. If this is calling you, I would not wait. If you have any questions, let me know. I am always here for you, thrilled to support you. You are powerful beyond measure. And once you convince yourself of that and see the proof, you know you get to define your relationship with money and anything else that you want. Namaste. Namaste.